assalamu alaikum guys hope you are doing good today in this tutorial we are going to learn about a docker file a docker file is used to build a, any customized container for your java application or any type of application this is example is about uh, java application so here if you can see I have uh, two files. One is Docker file and other is test.jar. It's my Java application. So first of all, uh, I need to pull open JDK container from Docker Hub. For this purpose, I am going to execute the command docker pull open JDK. This container uh, uh, this is a Java container. Uh, it will be used to execute my Java application. So, if I can see Docker image ls, uh, it's a Java image pulled from Docker Hub and it will be used in next step to execute my Java application. So, uh, let's open a Docker file. One important thing is the docker file name must be same. First letter must be capital and uh, rest are uh, normal. So first line is a syntax. It's just a comment. Uh, you can define docker file or its version. Then second line. Second line is a Java container image. Uh, we uh, pulled Java image from Docker. So this name is copied from here. It's a name used in from parameter inside Docker file. See, this is a container name. Second one is environment variable. Uh, if my application if your application is running in Pakistan, you can use Asia Karachi just for uh, its time to be set as per your time zone. Then next step is copy jar file from your host machine to the slash of container. It will copy test.jar from current directory to slash test.jar in Java. Uh, in docker container in final step we are uh, executing a java command to run the application all right so we are done with docker file now we are going to build a container image using this docker file so the command will be like uh, docker build minus t minus t is a switch to tag the image it's a switch to name the image you are going to build so i can name it as per my docker hub account name abdul rahman stc is a my docker hub account username slash image name so the application is test application we can set its name as test colon latest is the build tag you can set it to uh, any desired number or if you are going to tag your application uh, as same like you tag the builds in dev and production environment you can tag it as dev production test whatever you like so dot means we are going to build in current directory if the docker file exists in some other directory you can put that path here so let's build it now in first step it's picking the open jdk container then it's setting the environment it's copying the jar file to the container then it's defining the execution command if we can 
if uh, we just list down the images docker image ls you can see my container is built with the name i defined in tag and uh, here is the size timestamp and image id so we can uh, just run it for testing purposes like uh, docker run image name you can see it's starting my java application So the image is ready. We can also push into our Docker Hub account. Uh, it will push the image to our Docker Hub repository for future use or deployment purposes. You can push into your Docker Hub account. Okay guys, now you can build and uh, use your own docker containers using docker file and my guide and please like and subscribe to my channel for uh, further updates thank you so much for watching this video take care